Here you see the funnel-shaped beginning of the colonic coil. Besides propulsive waves, the most characteristic contractile patterns of the coil are prolonged segmenting contractions occurring simultaneously at short intervals and separating the content into boli. A giant contraction propels large quantities of digester into the coil. The segmenting contractions disappear and the loops are filled with large amounts of chyme. When the propulsion stops, the segmenting contractions reappear, dividing the digester into small boli. A giant contraction originates within the colonic coil and causes a further aboral transport. When such giant contractions occur with increasing frequency, the sheep produce large fecal boli instead of the normal small pellets, as can be seen in sheep maintained on grazing. Due to the large volume of digester transferred into the loops, the recurrence of the segmenting contractions is delayed. The following sequences show the aboral migration of the segmenting contractions. You can see that the segmenting constrictions endure over prolonged periods and that they migrate aborally. The lines may help us to recognize the slow aboral migration of the segmenting constrictions and thus of the boli. The segmenting contractions of the colon are completely different from those of the small intestine. The long-lasting segmenting contractions of the colon represent tonic contractions. In the motility tracings, they cause rises in the baseline. Due to the aboral migration of the tonic contractions, the rises occur rhythmically. The rises in the baseline are superimposed by repetitive phasic contractions. These appear fluoroscopically as shallow movements of the wall and are most pronounced at the constricting areas, that is the region of the tonic contractions. The small movements of the phasic contractions can be observed at the intestinal loop on the left. Now a peristaltic wave passes the spiral colon. Gas is propelled distally. followed by the flow of digester. The rapid flow of the digester indicates that the contents of the spiral loops are still liquid. Thus the formation of fecal pellets is not yet complete. This process obviously occurs gradually during the slow transport of the digester along the colonic coil. When peristaltic waves have filled the loops of the spiral colon with liquid digester, the shallow movements of the wall are most pronounced. Observing the loop on the left, you can see that digester are exchanged between adjacent boli. In the motility tracings, the prolonged segmenting contractions and the simultaneously occurring shallow wall movements appear as clusters of contractions. In contrast, at the small intestine, the clusters of contractions consist of short peristaltic waves. Furthermore, the segmenting contractions of the colon and small intestine represent different types of contractile patterns. This shows that similar appearances of tracings don't mean identical motor patterns. In addition to motility recording, Video fluoroscopy is therefore a helpful tool in identifying gastrointestinal contractile patterns.